Hi everyone, so for those who don't yet know me, I'm Bethan, I'm a data professional and super passionate about data, data science and all the maths that lies behind it. This is my first video so please bear with me whilst we get used to it and I hope you enjoy. So today we're going to be talking about the two thirds of the average game which is something I found really interesting during time um, on a game theory module uh, when I was studying my bachelor's at Cardiff University. Game theory as a whole, it has a vast number of ideas and concepts which I really enjoyed exploring. So I wanted to share some of these with you all and I think this is a great place to start. So if you take a look in, online, this is a definition we get for um, two thirds the average game on Wikipedia. In game theory, guess two thirds of the average is a game where several people guess what two thirds of the average of their guesses will be and where the numbers are restricted to the real numbers between 0 and 100 inclusive. The winner is the one closest to two thirds of the average. Of course, the basis of winning this game relies on the group you are playing it with, how they make their decisions and how you are able to perceive and predict these. There are different levels people will approach their number of choice. Our first level of players will make a decision almost at random with no particular strategy or um, rationale behind what they're choosing. However, the next level of players is slightly more interesting. Essentially what we have in the game is a number line from 0 to 100. Now, from these choices, the greatest average, even if everybody chooses 100, is going to be 100. However, to win the game, you want to be two-thirds of the average, which is 66.6 .6 recurring. So this level of players recognise that, and they won't choose anything above 66. But then we essentially are working with a new number line. We're working from 0 to 66.6 .6 recurring. This again, of course, has the highest average 66, but we want to be closest as possible to the two thirds of the average, which is in this case 44.4 .4 recurring. So we have a new number line. This level of players, they won't play anything above 44, but the next level of players recognize this again We've got a new number line, 44.4 recurring. So we want to go to the next two thirds of this, which is 29.62 recurring. We have a new number line and so on and so on and so on until we realize that we get all the way down to zero at average, which of course two thirds of this is zero. Zero in two thirds of the average game is known as the Nash equilibrium. In game theory, the Nash equilibrium is a concept that the optimal outcome occurs when players have no incentive to deviate from their strategy, even after they know how the other players have played. The Nash equilibrium is quite a pertinent idea in game theory, as it helps players to consider their payoff for each possible strategy that they could play, and it ultimately results in all players getting the outcome that they desired. I played this game with a small group of colleagues, who each submitted their guests to me privately. Being a data science and insight team, I was intrigued to see what would come back. And the guesses that I received are as shown on screen. From this, we find that the average is 21.25, and therefore the two thirds of the average is 14.12 to two decimal places. And so, player three was the winner with their guess of 50. As I had anticipated, being quite a numerically minded and data driven team, answers were on the whole pretty low. Whether this is coincidental, however, or due to strategies employed, remains to be seen. The next step to consider is the Prisoner's Dilemma, which is a more complex example game. I'll put a link to some reading on this alongside the video, and perhaps cover it in the later tutorial. I hope this was a nice insight into simple game theory, and I look forward to sharing something else with you next time. Thanks for watching.